I'm Kate, and this is another episode of Walk the Block. I'm down here in Inglewood again, and we're going to talk to Teresa from Ama Jewelry. Let's go. I'm here with Teresa Mirzayi at the Ama Jewelry, and you have got to check me out. I'm all decorated. We are going to talk to you, Teresa, today. You've been here in the Inglewood community for 13 years? Yes. And how did you get into jewelry? Um, I always been an artist since I was a kid, but uh, I guess my dad uh, was the person who always had uh, and made jewelry. Um, and then I started designing jewelry. The first thing I designed was uh, diamond watches. Diamond watches. So mm. at the time it was very popular and I love the fact that in Toronto I can be around celebrities because that makes mostly jewelry for celebrities. Amazing. And you guys do a lot of like custom, like unique pieces. Yeah, a lot of my pieces are made um, out of a blue and with dad's inspiration. And of course, me trying to change his mind here <laughs> and there. So you and your dad are both artists. Do you, get a, do you always agree or no? No, we do <laughs> have a lot of argument over stuff and how we want the design to be. Um, and finally we get to a final point that we have to. Well, they say conflict usually leads to the most innovative ideas. So that probably helps you probably push each other's boundaries in the art artistry. Definitely. I love that. And what uh, what is the best part about being part of the Inglewood community here? Everyone over here are so friendly and they all know each other and they support each other. And being one of the businesses that has something unique is more important than anything else. I love that. And you support a lot of people too, even local artists here. Local artists, of course, Epilepsy Association, any of the charity, I always make sure that I'm there for them. I love that. It's beautiful, giving back. Definitely. So you mentioned to me that you actually carry really unique stones. Yes, what I have are the cuts that you rarely find. Like I have this pendant that is aquamarine and is quite large for a something that is not uh, common. Mm -hmm. Then of course the peridot, which if you look at it, even though it's round inside of it, is a different cut that uh, makes it shinier than it should be. That's beautiful. Well, that it usually is. Um, any of my opal, of course, are uh, very uh, vibrant. Yeah and a lot of different color in them. Uh, same with my turquoise, which is uh, uh, designed with different diamond around it, so it makes it stand out more than ever. And your ring with the, with the pearl, pearl which beautiful. is not common again. Yeah. What's your favorite rare stone that you of like? Of course, opal. Opal. Always have been my favorite because you can put anything and everything around it and it still looks good even if it's all by itself. I love it. It changes color so much and yes. really accents. Nice. So what are some of your favorite pieces? Anything with the maple leaf that I have designed which is uh, something like this was a very nice pendant oh, yeah. that I designed so and it's two-sided so you can wear it with the um, like a kind matte of finish. a matte finish, or if you're wearing something unusual and you want a nice shiny one, is uh, that's one of the, my favorite pieces. Not to mention <gasps> oh, the, the earrings. Look at that maple leaf earrings. These are some of my favorite things to make sure people know they are Canadian. <laughs> right? I love the texture too because it looks like a leaf. Like it looks yes. real. Yes. It's amazing. And now tell me about some of your wood watches, because those are really popular. Yes, um, what I have mostly is 100% uh, handmade wooden watches, and uh, again, over there, I made sure that I used Canadian uh, statement um, to have two maple leaf on the two sides of the name, and Bois, which is the brand name, means wood in uh, French. Excellent, and you have custom ones that you do, Yes. Like this one here, I really liked because this is actually a picture you took. Yes, uh, it was Elbow River when we were going for a hike. <laughs> Amazing. And it's not just a picture, but they've etched it into the wood, is that right? Yes. 
so it's something that you can uh, basically put it forever. Yeah, you keep your memories. Yes. Amazing. Thank you so much for having us in store, and I really appreciate you, you know, make, letting me wear some of this stuff today. This is amazing. I feel all beautiful. Uh, so definitely come down and check out Amma Jewelry. So thank you, Teresa, so much. Thank you. You have a good day. So you mentioned to me that you actually carry really unique stones. Yes, what I have are the cuts that you rarely find. Like I have this pendant that is aquamarine and is quite large for uh, something that is not uh, common. Mm -hmm. Then of course the peridot, which if you look at it, even though it's round, inside of it is a different cut that uh, makes it shinier than it should be. That's beautiful. Well, that it usually is. Um, any of my opal, of course, are uh, very uh, vibrant yeah. and a lot of different color in them. Uh, same with my turquoise, which is uh, uh, designed with different diamond around it, so it makes it stand out more than ever. And your ring with the... <laughs> with the pearl, pearl. which beautiful. is not common again. Yeah, I love it. And then just add um, something to the end of this so I can cut to it. Um, maybe just mention uh, the, like which one her favorite is, which stone. Okay. What's your favorite rare stone that you of like? Of course, opal. Opal. Always have been my favorite because you can put anything and everything around it and it still looks good even if it's all by itself. I love it. It changes color so much and yes. really accents. Nice. Okay. Good. Good. Perfect.